Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstoday.com. My name is Raman Deep Singh and today we are going to do external analysis and this topic is very important for IBPS SO marketing mains exam. So we are going to do it in MCQs format but we'll be explaining the topic as well. Okay. So let's start the session and before starting let me tell you IBPS SO Marketing 2024 course. It's available on bankexamstudy.com. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series and live sessions. Links are available in the description. And this is the WhatsApp number. Let me just show you the WhatsApp number. This is the WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts. Okay. <clears throat> so let's start the session. So which factor in PESTEL framework includes government policies and regulations? So first of all, what is PESTEL framework? You should understand the PESTEL framework. So uh, the, the PESTEL framework includes political, economic, social, legal, environmental and technological factors. So all these external factors, you are analyzing them and analyzing their impact on your business. Ye sare factors ka aapke business pe kya effect pad hai. So please remember P means political, E means economic, economic situation of the economic environment in the country. G -g aapka country ka GDP upar ja raha hai, niche ja raha hai. Toh, that's the thing. Social, legal, technological uh, and environmental. Hai. So please remember the full form. That is the only thing which is important, which uh, factor in the PESTEL framework includes government policies and regulation it is political it includes government policies and regulations okay uh, what does e stands in the pestle it's economic and environmental so please remember that very common question ye question bar bar exam mein aa jata hai bada hi common question hai ye okay let's move forward which of the uh, following factors is not part of PESTEL framework? Very common question. Uh, so which one is not the part? Social media is not part of PESTEL framework. Okay. Let's move forward to the question number four. Uh, ETOPE uh, framework. Uh, so ETOPE stands for Environmental Threat Opportunity Profile. So I hope you have already done the SWOT analysis. In, in our last session, we did the SWOT analysis. Uh, strength, weakness, opportunities, uh, threats we did uh, in our last session. SWOT analysis. You have company ka, as a person, you have business ka, ek SWOT analysis. Karte ho, internal and external uh, jo factors hai, uska analysis. Karte ho. So, based upon environmental threat and opportunities, now we are talking about environmental threat and opportunity profile. You are making strategy for your business. Okay. So, based upon the environmental threats and opportunities, you are uh, making strategies for your business. So first of all, it starts with the environmental scanning. You scan the environment, you identify the environmental threats and opportunities, right? Uh, threats kya ho sakte hai? Change in regulations, one of the most common one, uh, new competitors. So when, when Geo came, it was a threat of new competitor to Idea, Vodafone and Airtel. So change in regulations can be uh, a scene, right? So change in regulation affected Insta Mojo. Agar aapko pata hai Insta Mojo ke baare mein, uh, I used it a lot. Uh, change in regulation, uh, I mean, uske karan Insta Mojo ka license chalega. It used to be very popular payment gateway, but now it's nowhere, right? So economic downturns that can be threat to your business, right? Opportunities. Factors that could pos positively impact the organization such as emerging markets, technological achievements or change in consumer preference. Maybe right now opportunities can be in uh, electric vehicles or maybe batteries or opportunities can be there in fintech. Un sab mein opportunities dikhti hain. Strategic planning based upon the environmental scanning, based upon the threats and weaknesses now you can do your uh, strategic planning. In this basis, you can make strategic planning. Kar sakte ho, plans can be right? Uh, so that you can take advantage of opportunities and threats. Okay. So what does ETOP stands for? Environmental Threat and Opportunity Profile. Full form is important. 
एग्जाम में फुल फॉर्म्स काफ़ी आती हैं सो इसको याद रखें आप विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फैक्टर इज टिपिकली नॉट कंसिडर्ड इन ई टोप एनालिसिस राइट सो इंटरनल वर्क फोर स्किल इट इज नॉट देखिए कुछ ऐसा नहीं कर रहे हैं अपॉर्चुनिटी थ्रेट एक्सटर्नल एनालिसिस करके वी आर मेकिंग द प्रोफाइल वी आर मेकिंग द डिसीजन सो इंटरनल वर्क फो वर्क फोर स्किल्स इट इज़ नॉट कंसिडर्ड इट इज़ एन एक्सटर्नल एनालिसिस ई टोप इज एन एक्सटर्नल एनालिसिस ओके इन ई टोप वॉट आर अपॉर्चुनिटीज टिपिकल टिपिकली एसोसिएटेड विद इमर्जिंग मार्केट और ट्रेंड्स दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैपिटलाइज ऑन एक्सटर्नल अपॉर्चुनिटीज राइट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ई टोप दैट कैन बी न्यू कंपेटिटर्स नए कंपेटिटर्स आ गए हैं मार्केट में so that is a threat to to your business so potter's five forces model i hope uh, if you have done your mba uh, you you might have done the five forces model right so there are five forces five forces that can affect a business what are these five forces first of all threats of new entrants new entrants in the market new entrants aa jate hain market mein that can be a factor uh so jio when jio came in the telecom industry that was a threat uh, you know of to the existing uh, players in the market threat of substitutes right now people they are drinking tea indians we are uh, we drink tea a lot but what if uh, due to the uh, you know western if impact we start drinking coffee and we stop drinking tea that can happen in the future coffee is considered as a luxury product i would say not luxury but a premium more premium than tea coffee is considered more premium than tea so people may start drinking coffee and they stop drinking tea in the future so coffee is a substitute of tea bargaining power of buyers so when uh, buyers uh, they are having a lot of impact on your business for example the reliance industries is buying let's say containers from an organization from a company and let's say 70% of the output is bought by reliance industries obviously the reliance industries is having a lot of bargaining power bargaining power of the supplier so let's say 100% of your uh, uh, goods are sold to only one supplier so that supplier can affect your margins a lot and rivalry among the existing competitors right now if you talk about it rivalry among existing partners uh, existing competitors kaun uh, si industry mein bahut zyada competition hai footwear i would say footwear right now sports footwear isme bahut rivalry hai uh, a lot of uh, you know discounts are provided by nike adidas uh, puma and all because there is a lot of rivalry among them and bahut competition hai so these are five forces model by potter Uh, what does competitive rivalry force uh, what does competitive rivalry force analyze in an industry how fierce the competition is in the industry not very important question uh, which force examine how easy it is for new companies to enter the industry threat of new entrants what does bargaining power of supplier measure uh, the influence suppliers have over the industry uh, if you read the question it's very easy exam mein waise aise question aate nahi hain which force addresses the influence uh, customers have over the industry bargaining powers of the uh, buyers right threat of substitute uh, is the risk of alternative products or services right impact ma- uh, matrix the topic is itself important so impact matrix also known known as risk assessment matrix it's a valuable tool for prioritizing the task so even when you are doing your studies there are certain task which can fetch you a lot of marks but then there are certain task certain topics which won't fetch you a lot of marks right so uh four types of i would say uh yahan pe kar sakte hain aap in the matrix what you can do is you can divide your task according to the impact and the efforts right impacts and the efforts so there are certain task uh, which requires low efforts but it brings you a lot of uh, effect right high impact that is quick wins so if you are preparing for ibps so marketing mains exam uh, 
आई वुड से सेगमेंटेशन इज अ चैप्टर मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट इट सेल्फ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अब मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट का हमारा एक कोर्स पढ़ लो तो आपके अच्छे मार्क्स आने के बहुत ब्राइट चांसेस हैं आउट ऑफ सिक्सटी यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट आई कैन टेल यू थर्टी फाइव मार्क्स डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट कॉटल गैलर की बुक भी पढ़ रहे हो थर्टी फाइव मार्क्स वहाँ से आने के चांसेज हैं देन देर आर सर्टन यू नो देर आर सर्टन सर्टन काइंड ऑफ टास्क वेयर इम्पैक्ट इज बिग बट इट रिक्वायर्स अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट्स सो दे आर नोन एज बिग प्रोजेक्ट्स वो बिग प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं राइट देन देर आर सर्टन काइंड ऑफ यू नो जॉब्स विच आर लो एफर्ट्स एंड लो इम्पैक्ट दे आर फिल्म जॉब्स राइट एंड देन देर आर सर्टन टास्क विच आर हाई एफर्ट्स बट लो इम्पैक्ट राइट हाई एफर्ट्स लो इम्पैक्ट दे आर नोन एज थैंकलेस टास्क दे आर थैंकलेस टास्क कुछ आप पढ़ रहे हो ऐसा जिसका कोई फ़ायदा आपको हो ही नहीं रहा है कोई एस ओ मार्केटिंग के लिए एच आर की बुक पढ़ रहा है पूरी या प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट पढ़ रहा है राइट तो उसका कोई खास फ़ायदा होने नहीं वाला प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट अब पढ़ लीजिए कुछ नहीं आने वाला उससे तो दैट इज़ अ काइंड ऑफ थैंकलेस टास्क फॉर यू राइट सो दैट इज इम्पैक्ट मैट्रिक्स राइट सो वॉट डज वर्टिकल एक्सेस ऑन द इम्पैक्ट मैट्रिक्स टिपिकली रिप्रजेंट इट इज़ इम्पैक्ट ऑफ एन इवेंट और एन इशू ओके टिपिकली वैसे आपको फैक्टर्स ही पूछे जाएंगे द इम्पैक्ट एंड द एफर्ट्स दैट्स अ टिपिकल वन ओके सो द हॉरिजोंटल एक्सेस ऑन द इम्पैक्ट मैट्रिक्स टिपिकली रिप्रेजेंट द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ इवेंट अकरिंग राइट वॉट टाइप ऑफ टास्क आर क्लासीफाइड एज क्विक विन्स दे आर दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ये एक इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन है दे आर हाई इम्पैक्ट एंड लो एफर्ट्स क्विक विन्स Uh, how should task classified as uh, as big projects be handled according to impact matrix managed methodologically breaking them into uh, manageable phases right thankless jobs uh, what type of task are considered as thankless jobs low impact and high efforts kind of uh, important question easy hai but important hai then there is strategic group mapping so strategic group mapping it's a valuable technique for understanding the competitive landscape what you are doing is you are um, you are making a graph of your competitors right uh, and you are placing them in that particular you are plotting them uh, on the basis uh, of the factors that you have already identified for example if you are making a strategic group map of your uh, competitors in the cars industries कार की इंडस्ट्री में सो इट कैन बी अकॉर्डिंग टू प्राइस एंड फीचर्स और प्राइस और प्रोडक्ट टाइप राइट सो या यू कैन ड्रॉ दम हेयर ओके सो इट हेल्प्स टू विजुलाइज द पोजिशन ऑफ द कंपेटिटर्स ये आपको हेल्प करता है कंपेटिटर्स की पोजिशन विजुलाइज करने में एंड हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड योर पोजिशन इन द मार्केट राइट तो सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन अंडरस्टैंड इन इन द स्ट्रेटेजिक ग्रुप मैपिंग प्रोसेस इज टू आइडेंटिफाई द की वेरिएबल्स सो so key variable in the automotive industry in the car industry can be price type of uh, uh, vehicle or maybe features right so that can be uh, strategic group uh, mapping process mein ye aapke features ho sakte hain variables ho sakte hain which axis on the strategic group map uh, typically represent the likelihood or the probability of happening an event it is horizontal axis what do companies that are close to each other on the strategic group map form they are strategic groups okay which of the following is a benefit of strategic group mapping um it is identifying mobility barriers so which of the following is a benefit of strategic group mapping identifying mobility barriers basically if you want to move from uh you know one uh, particular uh, one part of that uh, what do you say strategic group map uh, mapping so you identify the barriers you get to know how to move uh, from one particular uh, uh, position to another so what does uh, analyzing strategic group helps to understand uh, understand who your competitors are aapke competitors kya hai what are the barriers uh, in achieving your goals 
so that's i guess all for today i hope you understood understood that uh, today's class external analysis it is basically from strategic management very important for you mm, if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and i'm going to answer all your doubts uh, this particular session is available in detail uh, in uh, ibps so marketing 2024 course in which strategic management Uh, is a subject now. We have added a strategic management separately as a subject in the IBPSSO marketing course. So there are video classes, notes, quizzes, and the test series. And my WhatsApp number is always there where you can ask your doubts, and we are going to answer all your doubts. So that's I guess all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. List of our successful students. All these students they took our courses and they cracked their respective exams. and i'm really really happy for them and you can be one of them in the future and yes you will be one of them in the future uh in 2023 2022 all these students they took our courses and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye